hide pets, having fun with you. You can be our friend, the fun will never end. Teaching you to draw and paint. Very simple step, with simple shapes and styles. Sharing our adventures and happy smiles. Climb aboard and let's get started. Hard pets, hard pets, we are the hard pets. Hello, our pets crew. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this. It's a lion's head. To do this you will need a pencil, paper and an eraser. Oh, also a black marker. Along the way I will tell you some fun facts about lions. Remember to subscribe and click that bell to keep up to date with all our art adventures. So, let's get started. You know, I'm just thinking it might be a good idea if I did two versions of the lion's head. For our younger art pets crew, we can do a slightly simpler lion's head, and for our older ones, then we can do a more realistic one. So, um, yes, that's what I'll do. I'll start the simple one first, and then you can fast forward into the video if you want to see the somewhat more realistic lion's head. Or, of course, you can watch the whole video too and see both a simple and a more realistic one. Yay! Doing a simple or a realistic uh, drawing of a lion's head, they both start very much in the same way with, as usual, our shapes. So for the top of the head, we're going to draw in a circle. A very simple, soft circle, and you can see it's not a perfect circle, but it doesn't have to be. Then we're going to have an oval, and then another oval. They deal with the three basic shapes, the soft circle, soft oval, and the small oval, as they're just very loosely shaped up. From there, we join the lines here, bring that around in a curve, take another curve, bring that around and join up here, to that space. From there, we let that create a little triangle just there, so we have that little softness here. I'm then going to take a straight line up from there, and I'm going to, at the top of that straight line, I'm going to draw a triangle. That's going to be the nose. So we have the nose there. And then we're going to turn that nose into the shape of a heart. So we're going to put a very soft little M on the top of that. So very gently, we're changing the shape there into a heart shape with a little tail on either side. Down here we have the mouth. And so we keep those nice and curved there and there on both sides of the mouth. And then just shade in about a little turn there for the idea of the lips and the mouth into that space. From here, I'm going to just connect that past that line here to get the impression of the snout as it sticks out. Down here for the beard, we just make that a little bit soft and rugged like so at the same time just to get a little bit of unevenness with the shaping of the beard. Now, for the eyes, we're going to take a line just from the outside of the nose here and another one there. And we're going to put in eyebrows. One, two. And we're going to draw in the shape of an eye here. One. And the shape of an eye there, two. Put in the eyes into that two little circles, and then the pupil one and two. And you can see the shape of the face starting to come out. From here, we're going to just put a little bit of a soft line down to the middle there. I'm going to just bring that back around and connect it to here. And again on this side, bring it back around and connect it to there. Now at this stage, I'm going to rub out those guidelines that I no longer need. So I'm taking my rubber, just going to rub out those pieces. And for the mane, we're going to put a nice sweeping strokes just to the left and the right. So I'm going to start up here with a nice sort of circular shape like so coming down. And then the same up here, break it a little so it's not too perfect. And just sweep it around and turn down onto this side. And you can see a little bit of unevenness so that it doesn't look too perfect and too neat and tidy. From there, to give the impression of hair within that, put in one or two little lines curving little lines breaking here and there and one or two coming from the face out across here and down underneath there. And that is the basic pencil sketch that we're going to use for our simple line. Now I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to go back over the outline of that just so you can see it nice and neatly and tidily and to give it a little bit more strength. So with my black marker I'm going to start with the eye on the left hand side going around the eye shaping up the semicircle for the eye and the ball of the eye the
Now, finally, to finish your drawing, we want to put in the little black spots that are the start of the whiskers on either side. You don't have to be exactly the same because these are different in each time, or, sorry, in each line. And then we just put in our whiskers, like so. Now, you can shade this in with your pencil or with your marker if you wish, but we are going to show you how to colour this again another time, so you can leave it blank and we can shade it in another time with some actual colours. And I've talked about that at the end of this video. So, that's the drawing for our younger Art Pets crew. As you can see, it's not quite as detailed, the lines are softer and smoother. Whereas for the more realistic drawing I'm going to do now, we'll add more detail and a little bit more ruggedness in our lines. So, off we go. As usual, let's start with the shapes. So, my shapes today are going to be a circle and two ovals that we will start our drawing of the line with. So, for that I'm going to take the circle so circle and as you see I'm not trying to be too neat and tidy or too perfect with it then I'm going to have an oval and you can see my circle is not perfect it's a bit of an oval and a bit of a circle mix and that's okay then I'm going to have an oval which crosses over right in the middle of the circle there it starts and it crosses over this area and again look at the amount of loose lines I'm using just to try and get my sense of oval and then where this seems to be standing up my next oval is going to be lying down and it's going to be just a small little oval there so we've one two three shapes now from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them up by the way this is a HB pencil I'm using so it's a very hard pencil it doesn't spread too much and that's okay from there I'm going to join up here and join up there and then I'm going to come down and about where the middle of this is I'm going to take a line down here and I'm going to do a rounded line up there for the left hand side of the mouth as we look at and another rounded line there for the right hand side of the mouth as we look at and that will form the top part of the lion's mouth. Now I'm going to follow this line up, up a little bit more and just up here I'm going to draw a triangle for the nose. I'm going to start with that shape there just for the triangle for the nose just in here. Then I'm going to turn that slightly into a flat heart shape. That is like a flat M on the top. I'm going to just give that a little softness there and a little roundness at the edges just here and here. And I'm going to leave my two little curly bits turning up on the left and the right hand side. From there I'm going to come out and I'm going to let these come across the two lines there so just where they cut over here I'm going to let that come up I'm going to let that come up just a little bit there down here on the mouth I'm going to make another little triangle just shade that in so I can see it just there now from there I'm going to take the line here that I see I'm going to let that continue on up here on the left hand side and the same on the right hand side I'm going to allow it to continue on up into that space and I'm going to just put in a little semicircle here and so my little semicircle up here just into that space there now this is going to be almost like the eyebrows on the line but they don't I don't think they actually have eyebrows then beside that underneath I'm going to put a diamond shape now diamond shape is one two three four that's a diamond shape okay you have your angles it's almost like a square turned on its side so I'm just going to put a little diamond shape here for one eye and the same on the other side another little diamond shape the other eye okay and then we're going to put the little eyeball into the middle of that so a little semicircle here and a little semicircle there and then the pupil in the middle with a, li uh, the, a little mark for the pupil it colors the circle for the pupil so just the pupil into that side there the eyebrow here and there now from there I'm going to add a little line just here just following up from this and I'm going to allow I'm going to actually cut my um, circle at the top short because there's too much space there I'm going to just bring it back around here and bring it back around here just for the beginning of where the main on the line will start now maybe now I should tell you a little bit of a fun fact about a lion so here are some fun facts about lions lions live in groups called prides usually 10 to 15 animals in a pride. An adult male's roar can be heard up to 8 kilometres away. Wow, that's so far. 
down here we have the hairy bit on the chin. Just gonna come in and just put a little bit like that, make it a little bit loose, not too perfect, to get that slightly bearded look that they have underneath their mouth in that space. And then for the mane, we're going to come in and on the left hand side, we're going to just take a line and let it just fall around very loosely, like so. And the same on the right hand side. So from we put this line up just around there. And then the same on this side, let it fall just around to the right hand side. And this will be the outline of where we're going to place the mane for the, the, the lion's head. Now, this stage, I'm now going to rub out some of the guidelines I no longer need. To give the mane a little bit more realism, I'm going to just put in a few little spikes here and there along that line that I've put in that soft line and it just creates the feeling of the hairiness of the mane itself. On the right hand side they fall this way and on the left they fall towards the left hand side and you can do whatever shapes you wish. There's no right or wrong here. It's entirely up to what you would like to see. To give the impression of hair within that we put in a few lines here and there. Again the same broken lines, some of them starting from the edge of the face. And so the face doesn't look too neat and tidy, we're just going to come in and put in a few lines along that edge too. So it's smooth in some parts and uneven in others. Now, time for another fun fact. A baby lion is called a cub. Hmm, they're very cute. I think we might do a drawing of a cub sometime. I'll strengthen up this line here just into that space, the one that goes from the nose down to the mouth, just strengthen that up a little. And we have the shape of the nostrils in there, two little semicircles onto the nose, just pulling them into that space. And there you have the basic form of our line. Now what I'd like to do is just to give it just a little bit of softness and texture here and there. So for example, I can come along with my pencil and just scratch in little bits of shadow here, little bits of shadow there, up here on the left and right at that line that we put in along the top of the snout of the nose little bits here now of course the next thing we have to do to finish this drawing in pencil are to bring in the whiskers now here is something very interesting about whiskers that you may not have known the whiskers are very sensitive and help them to feel the things around them each whisker has a little black spot at its root and this pattern of spots is different for every line like your fingerprints that are unique to you. So here we are putting in those little black dots at the root of each whisker that I was just telling you about that are quite unique. So the pattern of these is very different. I find that really interesting. Okay, and then from there, just small little lines for the idea of the whiskers. And the whiskers are not straight because they get a little bit twisted. Not unlike my own, they're quite twisty and uneven. Whiskers are very important for us dogs and cats. And lines, of course. Now, that's the outline and pencil done. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to come along with my um, 6B pencil. It's a little bit softer. And I'm going to use my 6B pencil. And I'm going to shade in all of my drawing very softly using what's called a hatching line. And a hatching line is just lying side by side um, just filling in the spaces very softly. So I'm putting in one sort of single grey colour over the surface for all of the lines just to give them a bit of colour just with my pencil all the way through and just finish that in like so now from there I'm going to take my rubber and I'm going to break into that here and there to give little bits of light and then from there I'm going to come back in with the 6B and I'm going to put in a few darker strokes first here and there around the face just there around the mouth there into the mane here and there like so I just Hairs just gives a little bit more strength that you can see. Now, that's looking good so far. I'm quite pleased with that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my marker, I'm going to take my small little favorite marker, and I'm going to draw around some of these lines to make it stand out a little bit more strongly. So I'm going to start with the eye, and I'm going to just outline the eye. Just give that a little bit of strength and fill in some of that shape there. A little bit here and there for the idea of the lines and the marks above it. Here.
Now I'm just going to take my 60 and I'm just going to put in a little bit more strength of colour onto the mane, just using a soft sort of colouring line with this, just following the line around, shading in. And I want to just make sure the mane is slightly, slightly darker than the face, just to give a little bit of contrast to it. So using the 6B, so here as I said, I'm combining my marker and my pencil just to get a little bit more of an effect of strength in onto the line. Now you can see the mane is slightly darker and that helps to show off the lion's face like that. So now, that's how you draw a lion's head. I'm very pleased with my drawing and I hope you like yours too. What's most important is to have lots of fun. In the next video, Princess Kitten Fluff will show you how to colour in your line using pastels. These are like crayons. Until then, have lots of art adventures. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye!